In the properties toolbar on the right, under rotation, we can see that the current position of the rocket is 0, 0, and 0. Let's play around with these numbers to see what happens when we increase and decrease them. When we increase x, the stars rotate upwards. When we decrease, they rotate downwards. When we increase y, the stars rotate to the left. When we decrease y, the stars rotate to the right. When we increase z, the stars rotate anti-clockwise. And when we decrease z, the stars rotate clockwise. We want our stars to rotate to the right, so we're going to increase the value of y. But how can we make the stars rotate automatically and constantly? First, click on Animations, and then click on Add Animation. We want our animation to begin as soon as we start playing our scene. So, under When, select On Scene Load. Then let's go to Change. Since we want our object to turn around, let's select Rotation. Using this section over here, you can decide how much and how fast your stars will move. From is asking what position you want the object to start rotating from. Here we can leave the values as 0, 0, and 0. Two, is asking how much we want the object to rotate from the original position. As we saw earlier, to make the stars rotate sideways, we need to change the values of the y-axis. So in the 2 section, in the y-axis, we're going to put 360 degrees, since we want the stars to make a full rotation. The duration section is asking how long it should take for the stars to complete one full rotation. And the repeat section is asking how many times we want animation to repeat. Let's take 40 seconds, which means that it will take 40 seconds for the stars to make a full turn. And since we want our rotation to repeat forever, let's select infinity. Now, when we select play, we can see our stars rotating. Let's go back to design. Now, let's try animating another object. I want to make our astronaut jump up and down slowly. To do this, first select the astronaut. In the toolbar on the right, go to Animations. Click on Add Animation. Under When, let's select On Scene Load. Since we want the astronaut to move up and down, in Change, we're going to select Position. In the From section, you can see the current position of the astronaut. In the To section, we want to enter where we want the astronaut to move. Since we want the astronaut to move up and down, we're going to change the y-axis. The y-axis will determine how high your astronaut will jump. I'm going to select 3. But since we do not want the astronaut to move sideways and forward and backward, we're going to keep X and Z the same as the original position. We want the astronaut to jump up and down really slowly. So in duration, I'm going to select 5 seconds. I also want the astronaut to keep jumping forever and ever. So in repeat, I'm going to select infinity. Now, let's preview our animation. You can see that the jump doesn't look quite right because the astronaut is going up smoothly, but he isn't coming back down smoothly. To fix this, in direction, we're going to select Alternate. This means that the object will move from the From value to the To value, and then will alternate back to the From value. So now, when we click on Preview, you can see that the astronaut jump looks smooth. Now, it's time to begin the coding or programming part of this project. First, let's select Code in the section above. In the left bar, you will see a number of options with different colored blocks. Using these blocks, we can program the objects in our scene to do certain things. 
Next, we're going to learn how to program our rocket to launch when we press play. First, we have to select the rocket. Go to scene layers on the left and select rocket ship. Then, in the toolbar on the left, select events. Choose the block that says when play clicked and drag it into the workspace. Now, we're going to select rocket ship again and select the block that says rocket ship move forward for one second. Since we want our rocket ship to move after we press play, let's drag this block inside the yellow block. We want our rocket ship to move upwards. So in the drop down box, let's select move up. Now, enter the time for which you want the rocket to move. I'm going to stick with one second. Okay. Now let's review the code for our scene. Our blocks now say, when play is clicked, rocket ship will move up for one second. Let's try pressing play and see what happens. Okay, you can see that when we press play, the rocket ship moves upward for one second and then it stops. Now let's go back and add another command. Select rocket ship. Again, choose rocket ship move forward for one second and drag it into the yellow block. This time, in the drop-down menu, we're going to select Move Down. And again, we're going to leave this at one second. So, our code now reads, when play is clicked, rocket ship will move up for one second, and then rocket ship will move down for one second. Let's reload, press play, and see what happens. As you can see, the rocket ship followed our commands, moving up for one second and then moving down for one second. Let's see what happens when we change this command to move up. When we press play, the rocket moves up for one second and then moves up for one second again. But what if we want our rocket to keep moving up into space forever? One way to do this would be to add lots and lots of blocks like this. But you would have to add infinity blocks to keep the rocket moving forever. That doesn't sound great because it will take us forever to do and it will make our code really, really long. So let's delete these blocks and try something different. To save time and space, we can use the concept of loops to repeat an action as many times as we want. In the toolbar on the left, select loops and timers and go to the forever block. Let's drag this block into our yellow block. Now let's add a command telling the rocket ship to move. Again, we select the rocket ship, choose the block that says rocket ship move, and we drag it inside the forever block. Where it says move forward, let's change this to move up. Let's see what that looks like in our scene. When we press play, the rocket ship moves up and keeps moving up into space forever. Let's add some more features to our scene. First, let's add some sound to our scene. In the left bar, let's select sound and select set background music. We want it to sound like a rocket launch. So, in the options, let's see what fits. I'm going to select thunder. Using the background music block will automatically make the sound play for the whole scene so you don't need to loop it or place it in the forever block. Let's place a sound block here, above the forever block. Now, let's read our code. When play is clicked, background music thunder will play and rocket ship will move up one second at a time forever. Let's play and see how it looks. Great, it works. Now, let's add some fire to our rocket launch. In the scene layers toolbar on the left, under rocket ship, you will see that there is already an object called particle system. Let's select particle system. And in the blocks toolbar that appears, scroll down until you see a block that says particle system turn emitter on. Drag this block into our workspace. Since we want the fire to appear, after we press play and before the rocket takes off, let's place the block over here. So again, let's review our code. 
When play is clicked, particle system turns emitter on. Background music thunder will play and rocket ship will move up forever. Great, now let's view our project in play mode. Let's press play and see what happens. So we can see the fire coming out of the rocket, we can hear the thunder, and we can see the rocket ship moving up into space forever.